Hi, my name is Richard Bilderbeek. I'm a postdoc at Uppsala University in the group of Arthur Johansson. And I'll be talking about Plinker. I want to check out my poster if you want to do genome-wide association studies and if you want to do your full analysis from R. Because Plinker is an R package to work with Plink and Plink2, where Plink and Plink2 are command line tools to do genome-wide association studies. That is, that detect, can detect associations between genotypes and phenotypes. So, and if you already are an expert user in those tools, then maybe this is not the poster for you. But for all the other people, uh, this is it. This is cool stuff. For because, um, first, it is very easy to install Plinker. It's a one-liner. And then you can work with multiple versions of Plink. So I, in, the, in this talk, I use Plink 2 and Plink version 2 a bit loosely uh, together. I just use different versions of Plink. And then you have them side by side installed. Uh, it does this for you. And then from that moment on, you can use them whatever you want. Uh, this allows you to compare versions, for example, in speed. It also gives some slightly different results, but mostly n not in the form of p-values. Uh, those are, as far as I can see, always the same. Uh, but th sometimes the columns are named differently. So that is all nice and fine. One thing that's new, that's, that has not been done yet, is that both uh, Plink and Plink2, they use three different types of file formats, which is always a collection of two or three files. And this R package allows you to convert each type of data to each type of data. But it also allows you to read those pesky binary files, and finally you can get them in memory, see how those tables look like, modify them, and also save them again. Uh, that is fairly unique. Uh, that is unique about Plinker at this moment, to be able to do all that. So it has a uniform interface and it's safer than using the command line versions because it will give you more errors, it will check you better, it will give better error messages. Um, also, if you're more interested in teaching or if you want to use a simulated data set, it can create simulated data sets. So that's why I think you should use Plinker if you want to do genome-wide association studies using R um, or if you want to use it uh, in teaching. So if you want to try out Blinker. Here's the link to the repository. You can find it on GitHub. Send me a bug report, pull request, whatever you want, feature request, all fine. Or see me at my poster. All right, cheers.